Hey everyone, it's Catherine with Ready Set ABA, and the next video that I've been asked to do is stimulus equivalence. So let's look at a basic example and talk about what it means to have stimulus equivalence. When we think of stimuli and we think of stimulus classes, we know that they all have relevant features and they are equal in some way. In this example, though, we're going to look at reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. Okay, so we're going to look at the relation, but actually look at how these mean the same thing. Reflexivity, A equals A, it's a reflection. That one's pretty easy to understand, teaching that two pictures of the same rainbow are equal. Then you have symmetry. So if A is equal to B, then B is equal to A. So maybe you have the written word rainbow, and you have a picture of that same rainbow, and you're asking to match, or you're saying which one is the rainbow and you have a word and you have the picture. So you're teaching that those are the same thing. Then A equals C is now that you've understood the, the way that these stimuli are equal, the written word rainbow and the picture of the rainbow, now you can understand the spoken word. So if I say the word rainbow, what is it or which one, you're able to select the written word and you're also able to select the picture. So it's the way that these, these stimuli that are all equal to the same thing can be translated into other ways, whether it's labeling it or receptive identification, but really you've formed that concept which you've understood stimulus equivalence. Now there are ways to add in more of these. So you may see more letters in the future of other types of examples of rainbows. And that's where you can get into understanding stimulus classes and understanding the relation between stimuli and which ones are equal. So transitivity, you can think of as understanding the entire concept of this particular rainbow. And once you have understood transitivity, you have achieved stimulus equivalence. So I hope using that in this sentence can help as well. Uh, if you want more examples, comment below and I'm happy to do more, but I hope this helps give you a brief understanding of this concept.